2006, the NAACP of Seattle and King County met with then prosecutor Norm Mason. The subject of our conversation was an email that had been sent to a criminal defense attorney in relation to uh, discrimination and uh, racially charged language. During that conversation that we had with Norm Mason, and when I say we, we or we, what I mean is our entire NAACP executive committee, Norm Mason made promises to me. He promised that the offending language author of the offending email would be put in a place where he understood the true ramifications of his action and that his office would move quickly. Within a short period of time, Norm Mailing encouraged this person to resign and they did in fact resign in 2006. In 2011, with the Monday decision, we find that the language used by Prosecutor James Honeck, the blatant attempt to appeal to the worst in us, racial prejudice, the misguided assumption of the norms and values and beliefs of African American people that were made during closing are such that they are a personal affront to our criminal justice system. They're a personal affront to prosecutors that care about our system of justice everywhere. They're a personal affront to those that believe that our system of justice should judge people by the content of their acts rather than the color of their skin or other protected issues under the civil, under civil rights. We are deeply concerned that after the King County Prosecutor's Office became aware of these sorts of comments years ago, they continued to, they continued to put Mr. Conant in a position where he handled high profile, serious criminal matters. We don't deem these to be isolated incidents in terms of Mr. Conant. We can safely say that because of the multitude of prosecutors that have contacted us, not from this, not only from this jurisdiction, but from other jurisdictions as well. People that claim to have had personal experience with this man. We can safely say this because we have also had multiple contacts with defense attorneys who have had personal contact with Mr. Conant and believe that the actions that he displayed in the Monday case are often par for the course. Our system of justice is in danger when people fail to operate as a check and a balance against activities that are violative of our Constitution, especially within a courtroom. We are aware, and we are not naive fact that courtrooms do not operate in a vacuum. They are only as good as the sum of its parts and that there is still racism in our society. There are safeguards put into place to protect against the possibility that somebody may be found guilty because of their color, the color of their skin or something else that's wholly unrelated to their case. This prosecutor Mr. Conant did not live up to those principles. Now there are some that believe, and we've talked to them, that rather than resignation, there should be a demotion. The NAACP cannot maintain that position in this particular case. We can't maintain that position position in this particular case in part because we are aware that some of the greatest disproportionalities in our criminal justice system in terms of racial disproportionalities and incarceration are directly linked to lower level felonies, property crime, and drug crime. And given that 
Dr. Honeck has made it clear through his co- closing argument what his beliefs are in terms of culture, culture, norms, values, and beliefs of African Americans, that he might have an even more disparate impact on our system of justice if he were allowed to be in a place where he were in a different community. Further, given that he is a senior prosecutor, given that he is in a place where it's possible that other prosecutors that are newer will look up to him, it sends a disappointing message to new prosecutors that are doing the best they can to learn their craft in terms of what's acceptable and what's unacceptable. they said words like fool. He belittled who they were based on their racial character. That is something that the Washington State Supreme Court has indicated cannot stand and the NAACP is saying that cannot stand as well and the risk involved in keeping him as a prosecutor is dramatic. You don't need are not 